The official opening of the International Diamond Week in Israel was held on the second day of the fair at noontime. Israel Diamond Exchange President Joram Dwash welcomed the many visitors as well as the dignitaries both local and abroad. Our he expressed his hope and that of his members that this sixth edition of the International Diamond Week in Israel would be a great success. The International Diamond Week in Israel also proved a great opportunity for the Israel Diamond Exchange to announce a new initiative. In the presence of Shmuel Snitzer, the newly elected chairman of the Israel Diamond Institute, Gaetano Cavrieri, president of SIPJO, the World Jewelry Confederation, and of course, Joram Dwash, the newly elected president of the Israel Diamond Exchange. A statement of purpose was signed with the aim to establish the Israel Diamond Jewelry Association. This is done in recognition of the fact that many members of the Israel Diamond Exchange are now venturing into jewelry manufacturing and trading and marketing. And we hope that this will yet add another business opportunity for the many members that are looking for new opportunities. One of the highlights of the International Diamond Week in Israel was the organization of a diamond marketing panel. The participants, Jean-Marc Lieberherr, the newly minted CEO of the Diamond Producers Association, Alex Popov, chairman of the World Diamond Mark Foundation, Patricia Sifrut, the executive director of the World Diamond Council, and the guest of honor, Stephen Webster, jeweler to the stars from the UK, the Diamond Panel discussed mainly the need for generic diamond promotion among the new consumer, the millennial, the self-purchasing woman, and the consumer who wants to make his own choices that are not imposed upon him by any of the marketeers. The afternoon of February 16 saw the arrival of Professor Dan Schechtman, the famous 2011 Nobel Prize winner, to give a lecture at the Kulanan restaurant. He spoke about his own endeavors, his research, and his support for the diamond industry in Israel. This was followed by the opening of Diamtech, the exhibition that showcases all the innovations and startups that are created for the benefit of the diamond industry and trade. With the arrival of a delegation of the Hong Kong Jewelry Manufacturers Association, the Israel Diamond Exchange took the opportunity to sign a memorandum of understanding. This MOU serves to improve and tighten the relationships with the jewelry business community in Hong Kong, a community that already is an important client of our industry, but there is always room for improvement and for the improvement of the relationships that are already there. All in the framework of improving and boosting business between Israel and its major export destinations. While the laboratory of the Gemological Institute of America, GIA, has already been open for quite some time in Israel, the International Diamond Week in Israel was a great opportunity to have an official opening. This opening was attended by the president and CEO of GIA, Susan Jack, as well as the manager of the New York branch of GIA, Tom Moses. The festive opening emphasized once again how important uh, GIA services have become for Israel, that waiting times are now far shorter than they were before, and that GIA has become one of the pillars of support in our industry here in Israel. All in all, the International Diamond Week in Israel was packed with defense. But the business on the floor is the most important thing. Behind me, you can see the activity and the buyers and sellers doing their business. We hope to see them back at the next edition of the International Diamond Week and hope that will be a success too.